Hi hey everybody, welcome. Today we're going to take a look at preparing to cut our vinyl sign design on the vinyl sign cutter. First I'm logged on to a computer that has the vinyl sign cutting software on it. It has the one that has the actual sign above the computer. And once logged on I'm going to click on the Flexi Letter Cloud icon right here for this program to launch. Once it launches up we're going to take and change a couple of things on here. First of all, we're going to change is the page size. This is a width of 36 inches. That's a little bigger than what we need. Your vinyl that you're going to get is 12 inches by 6 inches. So over here in Design Central, this window that's right here, we're going to change the numbers for the width and the height to 12 by 6. Now, if this window is not open, it's not a big deal. We're going to come up to our ribbon bar at the top of our screen and we're going to select on a file folder that has the XY on it for Design Central. Okay, once we have that open, the width of my page I'm going to highlight and I'm going to change that to 12. My page height, I'm going to highlight that and change it to 6 and press enter on the keyboard. Now I can see that my page height is 6 and the width is 12. Next we have to set up a few margins. So I'm going to change from my size tab to my margins tab and the margins I'm going to enter in for this top margin I'm going to enter in 0.5 for the top I can either click in the next area down or I can press the tab key on my keyboard my next margin is 0.4 press the tab key on the keyboard my next margin is 1.7 press the tab key on the keyboard and my last margin is 0.7 press enter on the keyboard. Okay, this blue line that's going around is my margins, all my graphics, all my text, all my boxes, everything has to stay inside this blue margin area. Next, let's take a look at putting our graphics in here. Let's go up to the top left hand corner of our screen and find file tab and we're going to go down to import. Okay, I want to make sure that I'm in my H drive so I'm going to click on this pull down arrow right here and I'm going to go down to my H drive. That's your first initial last name 000 and click to select it. In my H drive I'm going to find my Batman logo which is one of my vinyl that I saved. Remember these are all AI file types at the end for the extension and I'm going to click import. You can see that the graphic is attached to my cursor. I'm going to place it on my screen and I can use these handles that are in the corner in order to scale my graphic to make it bigger or to make it smaller. Okay, I think that looks good. Next, I'm going to add text to this. So I'm going to come over to the left hand side of my screen and I am going to select my text tool from the toolbar. That's the capital letter T. And I'm going to click to place my cursor. In the Design Central window, I can choose a different font if I want. Just make sure you're choosing a big, bold, and blocky font. Don't do anything that's fine line or detailed. And then type the text that you want on your sticker. Okay, once I have my text entered, I'm going to switch back to my arrow tool. And I'm going to use the handles, the little white boxes that are in the corners, in order to scale my text to the size that I want it to be. Okay. I can also click on my text and move it from one side to another, center it, put it above it, below it, whatever you want. Okay, I think that looks pretty good for me. Next, I'm going to go get my next graphic. I'm going to come up to the top. I'm going to go to File tab at the top, go down to Import. I'm going to go get my Mario graphic next and click Import once again. Okay, I see my graphic attached to my cursor. I'm going to click to place it. I'm going to use the handles, the little white boxes, in order to scale my graphic to make it smaller, to make it bigger, to make it fit on the page well. That looks pretty good. And next I'm going to get my text tool once again. Come over to your toolbar, click on the capital T for your text tool, and click to place your text. Okay, you can change the font if you want. Okay, and once you enter in your text, let's go back over to your arrow tool in the toolbar. We see these white boxes. We're going to use that to scale it. 
And for this one, instead of placing it below, I'm going to place it on top. Okay, maybe a little smaller. That looks pretty good. Okay, next, we want to try and help ourselves to get this weeded or peeled out. And to make that a little easier for us, we're going to put a cut box going all around our designs so that it'll make weeding our stickers or peeling our stickers a lot easier. Okay. In order to do that, we're going to come over here to our toolbar once again and find our rectangle tool. Click on it. And I'm going to come off to the side of my design and I'm going to stretch a rectangle around my image and text that belong together. Now it comes up as black and it hides everything in my design. So the first thing I'm going to do is change it from a different to a different color. I'm going to come down to my color palettes that are down here in the bottom. And I'm just going to pick a different color than what's on my sticker. This rectangle is in front of my graphic and text. So I want to make it go behind my graphic and text. In order to do that, I'm going to go up to my tabs at the top, select the range. And go to order. And once I'm in order, I'm going to go to back. And that moves that box to the back. Maybe I could slide that over a little bit more. That looks pretty good. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing to my Mario graphic. I'm going to click, stretch a box going around my text and my graphic. I'm going to change the color of it down in the color palettes at the bottom of the screen. And then I'm going to go to Arrange. And I'm going to go to Order and Move to Back. Okay, that one turned out pretty good too. Next, I'm going to switch back to my arrow tool. So in the toolbar on the left hand side, click the arrow tool. And here we're going to take and we are going to use up this extra space down here. Either you're going to keep adding different graphics to fill your page, or if that's all we have for our graphics that we're going to use, we're going to take and copy and paste more down here in the bottom. In order to do that, I'm going to take and draw a window around my Batman graphic. So I'm going to click off to the side and draw a window around that. Everything in here gets selected and I'm going to go to the edit tab at the top. I'm going to go to copy, go back to the edit tab and go to paste. You can see I have that attached to my cursor again and I'm going to put it down here below. I'm going to do the same thing with my Mario design. Draw a window around it. Go to the edit tab, copy, go back to the edit tab, go down to paste. And I'm going to click to fill up my sheet. Okay. Now I can make these bigger if I want. I can make them smaller if I want. They don't have to be the exact same size. One can be bigger than the other. Okay. Now, once I'm happy with what I have on my screen, I'm going to come up to the top and I'm going to go to file and I'm going to go to save as making sure that this is in my H drive. Now, if you don't see your H drive over here on the left hand side, you may have to click on this PC, the arrow in front of this PC, go down to your H drive and click to select it. For my file name, I'm going to use my last name and vinyl. Okay, so my last name and vinyl sticker, you're going to type in your last name, vinyl sticker, and click save. Okay, now we're going to get, after we have that saved, it's in our H drive, I want to prepare this to cut. And it's going to be a couple of steps here. Now this graphic and the Mario graphic are both two colors. So I'm going to click on my graphic and I'm going to go to arrange group and I'm going to ungroup. Click off to the side. Now I'm going to click the yellow portion of my graphic and I'm going to delete it. Okay. Cause I want to cut the black part first. I'm going to do the same thing for my second Batman logo. Click on the graphic. Arrange, Group, Ungroup, click off to the side, click the yellow, and delete that because the black is what we're going to print first. My Mario graphic has two colors as well. I'm going to click on my Mario hat. I'm going to go Arrange, Group, Ungroup, click off to the side, select the white, and delete that. Last one down here. Click on your graphic, arrange group, ungroup, click off to the side, 
and delete. Okay. Now, when we do the other color, the, the yellow or the white, we're going to take and we're going to load this up and we're going to delete the black instead of the yellow. And we already have this saved in our H drive that has your graphic all together with both colors there. So now we're just preparing to cut. To get this all onto the same layer, we're going to take and draw a window around our entire graphics, text, boxes, everything. And we're going to change colors. I want you to change to a different color other than black. So I'm going to come down here to the bottom and I'm going to choose, I don't know, green. Now the color on the screen does not matter. The color on the screen is not the color of the sticker that it's going to turn out. The color on the screen is just to show that we have everything on the same layer. Your sticker color depends upon what color vinyl you place in the vinyl sign cutter. Okay. Now I'm going to come up to the top and I'm going to go to file and I am going to go to cut plot. Once my cut plot window opens up, there's going to be this window that opens for production manager here. We need this open in order for the vinyl sign cutter to operate. So leaving this open, I'm just going to click in this gray square over here on the side or on this white background. Next, I'm going to change the material type to user defined. And I'm going to change the height of my material to six. I'm going to make sure that my scale right here is at 100%. And I want to make sure that this man, picture of the guy standing right here, is upright. And the F for mirroring, the letter F, is in the correct position. It's not backwards. Okay. Once you're here, you need to go get the color vinyl that you want out of the back cabinet. Bring it to your teacher. Tell him you're set up and you're ready to cut and you need him to load the vinyl into the vinyl sign cutter. Congratulations, nice job, another project completed.